All right, guys, good morning. Just wanted to touch base with you about what's going on today for social studies. So the last we left off, we were talking about the explorers, people who came from Europe to, um, at that time was a new world to uh, look for gold, glory, and God. When they wanted to um, expand their kingdoms, um, they wanted to be heroes, or they were looking to um, share the word of God with people for their religious reasons. So we're sort of moving forward with that, and it's a little bit hard to do this with um, out having an activity. So today we're going to look at what happened when those explorers came to what we now is now know as the United States, and how did we become the little settles, those little explorers to the thirteen colonies? So we start by looking at what is a colony understanding that a colony is a group of individuals that are looking to, they're part of another country and they have established themselves as a group of people living together under that kingdom's law. And they're, um, let's say they came from England. So they are English and they are living in the new world as a colony under the law of England. So, how do those colonies become established? One of the things that they did was looked um, when they were coming over, one of the big documents that we have is called the Mayflower Compact. And some of you got to look at a little bit of that um, when I was out just before we went on this big remote learning adventure. So today, a couple things we're gonna look at, sort of reestablishing what a colony is, looking at the Mayflower Compact, um, and looking at what kinds of decisions go into starting a colony? You can't just show up and think things are going to work. We've tried that. Remember at the beginning of the year, it didn't all work well. So there has to be some type of rule of law. And there's this Mayflower compact that the men signed, <coughs> excuse me, um, on their trip to across the ocean. And before they even got off the boat, um, before they landed in the harbor, they decide that they're going to create an agreement. This word of, you know, this is my word kind of thing that says, I'm going to abide by these rules. And the idea is, I might be giving up a little bit, but I'm doing it for the benefit of everybody. Because if I don't give a little bit and nobody survives, then we haven't done what we're supposed to do, which is to colonize and take more and sort of grow this area for the king. So today I'm asking you, your assignment is to complete a Word document. And it's asking you to think about what kinds of things would you have to think about if you were starting your colony? How would you decide who's in charge? How would you decide how dis disagreements would be settled? How would you decide who's going to be um, the sheriff or the farmer or the cobbler? all the roles that need to happen and what are those roles that need to happen to make life work can you all just individually live on your own and no interaction or no dependent on each other so that is what i'm asking you to just think about list out for me i have a couple of questions for you about um what what colonies and what I need to think about as they're being established. You've done this a little bit with your create a country and we did this when we set up our classroom rules. So this is really just a background, get your brains thinking again about what rules of law do we need in a civilized area, in a civilized society. So do your best. I'm looking for punctuation, full sentences, and good ideas. Please don't give me one or two sentences. Um, help me to show me that you really understand that a rule of law needs to be established. So that is your assignment for today. Much more to come tomorrow, but as we got started today, I wanted to just go back and get our brains thinking about what we had been working on. Uh, one note that study.com is a website that I don't currently have access to. There's a great video there that I'm trying to get us access to. I requested it early this morning. I'm hoping that I'll have it before the end of the day. So if you see that an additional resource is put up there, go ahead and click on it. It's good information. 
If you need more help with this, feel free to log on at 8.30 with me um, doing our Google Meets. Um, outside of that, tomorrow I'm actually looking to do a live lesson. So anyone who's able to log on at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, Tuesday at 9, um, I'm going to do an interactive lesson where we record it, and then I'll have it available for everybody. Um, but it will be more like me teaching, where I'm asking a question, somebody's responding. I'm not just talking to my green light of my Google my Chromebook here, um, pretending that you're listening to me. So uh, more to come on that. But if you have more questions, reach out. Otherwise, your assignment today should be posted. Uh, and uh, good luck.